Hey guys, it's Emma and this week's video is going to be about how much money I spend in a week while I'm on the Disney College program. One of the most frequently asked questions is how much money should I bring or like how much are you going to make while you're on the Disney College program? And I'm here to supply you with that information. So my program started January 9th and I am departing if I don't extend on August 24th. My mom made me save up, well she didn't like make me, but like she lectured me to save up as much money as I can or else I wasn't going to be able to do the program for very long. I brought with me $8,000 and in the first week I spent about $2,000 or like $2,500 which was not very good of me because when we came into the program the Disney discount was like 40% off and I was in the mindset of if I bought everything I wanted then I won't want anything in the future which is like kind of true kind of not true like I'm not like wanting as much stuff as I did back then. But I am budgeting myself now and I set aside some money in my savings that I cannot absolutely touch ever while I'm here. And in my money that I have that I can spend, I haven't been below $500 yet, so that's pretty good. With our paychecks, we get $14 an hour, but rent does come out of every paycheck and we also get paid weekly, which is pretty cool. But my rent I think is about 240 because I live in a 4x4, four four, so I think it's 240 a week. It might be 220 but I'm pretty sure it might be 220 I don't know. 220 or 240 a week to have my own room and own bathroom. There's only like a $20 difference between each room. Like a 2x2 two two is like 180 which means the 4x2 is 200 then I must be 220 I guess. So last week, I think I worked 36 hours, I want to say, 36 hours, 36 or 34 hours that week. And with rent taken out and taxes, I got like 218, $219 for that week, which is not a lot. And I'm really scared for either this coming up paycheck or my next one because I only really worked like 26 hours this week because I gave away a couple of my shifts. So you don't really make a lot of money. I do not have a car, so I don't have to spend money on gas, which is pretty cool, even though the buses suck. So I feel like I would rather pay gas. But one thing I do have to pay for is groceries. And I just went grocery shopping for a few things. Mostly got snacks, but I got like fries and pizza rolls. So that's like a dinner thing but I spent $38. Last time I bought groceries, I forgot when that was, but I spent $75. So my groceries, I feel like will always be pretty much below $100, but I don't eat a lot. So if you eat a lot and like to eat food, then it's gonna be more. But I usually don't go, like the first like couple months when I got here, I spent like $50 a week on groceries and it's not a lot. But I am also a shopping addict. For example, these glasses are from Burberry. So technically I can still afford Burberry. And these were a little under $300, so a little more than a week's worth of pay. But we're not focusing on past purchases. We're focusing on this whole week's purchases. And today, so I went to Target and then I also went to Cast Connections today. And let me tell you a funny story with Cast Connections. I went to Cast Connections this morning to buy some more new emo clothes because new emo clothes are literally $1.99. But when I got off the bus, the person in the front was like, oh, they're about to set out the mystery boxes and open Mickey's Treasures. And Mickey's Treasures is a place where basically I feel like it's like damaged merchandise, but the stuff that I got wasn't really damaged. But like, I, I, I don't really get the sense. Like they have like lightsabers that are like kind of broken for like 75% off. Like if it's like under, I think this is how it is. This is how it is for like the clothes. So I think this is like kind of how it is for everything because nothing really had price tags. So if it's under $50, then it's $5. If it's over $50, then it's 75% off. I did not get a mystery box because I feel like that's kind of scary because it was like $25 for $100 worth of stuff, which I would have gotten, but I went into Mickey's Treasures first and the, I skipped out on the mystery boxes. So when I left Mickey's Treasures, it was kind of like all gone. 
but there was also some for $75 for like $300 worth and like $100 for like $400 worth of stuff. But next time, I hope I will get a mystery box, I think. I don't know. But let me show you guys what I got at Mickey's Treasures. So basically, oh, and Cast Connections. I got this hat. This is so cute. It has like the little Mickey's, Mickey's. And this is $5. See, there's like, and there's like nothing wrong with it. Like, it's, like, has this. It doesn't have a tag, but it, like, I don't see anything wrong with it. I also got these ears. I've been wanting these ears. They do have written $34.99, but I don't care. $5 for these ears. They're so cute. And then, finally, I got this shirt. It is so cute. I love the color. The fabric's nice. So, apparently, that was $60 worth of stuff for... $15.98, which is pretty cool. Did get find some new emo clothing, but I got this little Queen of Hearts jacket. Like, isn't this, I think it's Queen of Hearts. And the little, I just got it because of the headband, like the crown headband, that is so cute. And these little shoes. And then we got this pink spirit jersey. That was the mint green one, but I like, I like the pink. And then this, this outfit. This outfit is what convinced me that I want the Winnie the Pooh new emo. So we may or may not be getting the Winnie the Pooh new emo in this video. But the best find, these Thunder Mountain Railroad ears. Because these were originally $34.99, they're part of the 50th collection. And I was gonna buy these like when we had our discount, but I'm so glad I didn't because these were literally $7.99 for these. And they're so cute. All of this Cast Connection stuff equaled $13.38, which means all of this came out to a whopping $29.36, which means in total today I spent, let me, let me do the math, around $67, $68, which isn't too bad for a day off. Because usually when I'm working, I don't spend any money unless like it's like online purchases, which I haven't been doing a lot of lately but I usually spend no money. Whoa, it just seems like I've stumbled into Disney Springs. I'm not here to buy anything in specific because I'm just here to get my mind off of the schedule drop. Coming at 12 tonight because I really need the 14th and 15th off because that's when my boyfriend's coming down to see me. So yeah, I just need something to do besides sit in my apartment and watch my iPad because I'm really scared. So hopefully I won't spend any money. Okay, I should not have gone to Sephora. Well, the thing is, the guy was restocking Rare Beauty Blush. So I got some Rare Beauty Blush. There's also a lot more stuff in stock than the last time I went. I was gonna get the holographic Glossier lip gloss. That's only like 15 bucks. But I think next time I'll get it next time. Also, we're going in the Zara right now. And it's actually free ice cream cone day. Well, like at Ben and Jerry's today, they're giving free ice cream cones. What? You literally get as much cone as you want as well. Like, I have to finish this and I can get another one. Let's go do a little bit of shopping at Five Below, by the way. Strawberry, marshmallow, whatever I got. It's so good. And then we're gonna go back, and then I think we get like a chocolate or there's like a churro one that I might get. So, yeah. And then I'll get ready for work. Round two, and I got tray for churros. Let's try this, because it's like new new. Oh my gosh. Mm, I a churro bitch to it. Mm, so good. Hey guys, here it is. The Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Worth. And there are two new colors actually, Worth and Virtue, which Worth is more like a pinkish and Virtue is more of like an apricot color, which now that I think about it would be great for the summer in the sun. But I went for the more pinkish tone because that's just what I gravitate towards. I should definitely buy um orange blush though coming up i've been wanting to try this blush for so long and i'm so happy that sephora like he, the guy was just restocking it and i was like how lucky am i that he's just restocking it so no little goes a long way so we're just gonna do two dots i don't even think this is in the right place i don't i don't surely know where blush goes let's get this blush this brush and just 
put it like oh 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 Ooh. it is so pretty and it makes my face feel so smooth i don't know if it's just because like it's a cream because i've never tried a cream blush i didn't put a lot on didn't put too much i love it actually i think that's kind of the correct amount let us try this side it makes me look sunburnt which i love the look of being sunburnt and i can't seem to burn here i literally only tan not burn so i'm very happy about that but i love the way that sunburns look i love and i'm so excited to try more rare beauty products in the future actually rare beauty is named pretty well because it's very hard to find stuff in the rare beauty line. I'm getting Starbucks because I work 6.30 to 12.30 a.m. today and I'm really tired. Also, today's gonna be the last day for this video because tomorrow me and my sister are going to Universal. So that's gonna be like a whole separate video. Five days, five days is still considered a week, like a school week, you know. I also got paid today and I got paid about under $120 for about 26 hours of work. Should I try an iced chai? I don't know. Why was this $7 for a small? $7. This isn't even my expensive drink that I usually get. This is an iced chai with a shot of espresso because I, I needed that little kick. I'm really scared because $7 is on the line if I don't like this, so we'll see. Okay, it's not bad actually. It's not, I don't think I would get it again. It's a very folly drink, not like summery. I also bought a Subway sandwich at work since the last time I talked to you guys. And I think that one was about seven, eight dollars. It's just a game, let's just round up. So the total of what I spent in five days at the Disney College program is this. Is different it fluctuates whether I'm trying to save money or whether I can spend a lot of money if you enjoy oh I could have gotten Duncan Duncan's over there what about that well that be all for this video I hope you guys have the best day or night or whenever you're watching this video I'll see you guys next time with some very 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 exciting content since my family is literally picking me up from work tonight and I'm so excited to see them so exciting content will be on the way make sure like, subscribe, and comment, and thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!